there's quite a lot for Warpath, especially if you are a fan of RTS games, looking for something completely unique to play. Not only does this game offer many familiar aspects such as base building and RTS combat, but also a different approach to all those elements, which makes playing it feel like a vastly different experience. So if you are interested in any of that, in today's video I'll show you how you can download and install Warpath on your PC so that you can have the best gaming experience. To install Warpath, firstly, head out to the Bluestacks official website to download and install the latest Bluestacks 5 version on your PC. Now proceed to the installation process and once it's done, you can go to the Play Store to log into your Google account. Here, firstly, you need to provide your email address and then your password and proceed to agree on everything that shows up. Once you're done logging in, you'll be automatically brought to the Play Store. Here, you will search for Warpath here on the search bar on the top. Then select Warpath and now click on install, just like you would on your regular phone. Once installation is finished, the icon will pop up here on the home screen. Just click on it and you're all set to start playing. Warpath has adjustable graphic settings, so even if someone has a low-end device, they still can play it. And luckily for us, since we are playing on Bluestacks, your PC will most likely fulfill all the recommendation requirements for our emulator, so you can forget about its limitations. So to activate the best graphic configurations in Warpath, simply click on the After Portrait in Game and open the Options menu. And in the General Setting category, you can crank up the graphics to the max. With that, you not only have the best effects and graphics possible, but also the smoothest frame rates that Bluestacks can create. As an RTS game, you constantly be moving your view through the entirety of the map to be constantly scanning for enemies, allies, and overall what's happening on the battlefield. Luckily, with the key mapping tool, you can place a zoom shortcut anywhere on the screen and bind it to any button on your keyboard, allowing you to easily control the zoom at any moment. Besides that, you can simply control the camera using the WSD buttons, allowing you to move across the map like you would on a PC RTS, and your exploration throughout the map can often leave your camera hundreds of miles away from your base. Not to worry, because once again, you can use the key mapping tool to always refocus your camera on your camp with a simple press of a button, instead of having to click on the corresponding button of the screen or slowly and manually panning back to your base. And this is just a few of what you can do with the key mapping tool to improve your quality of life and gaming experience when it comes to warfare. The best way to enjoy what this game has to offer is of course to play on Bluestacks with all these awesome features. Not only you will be able to play with your keyboard and mouse, but with the best graphics and performance. So if you want to enjoy this awesome RTS, Bluestacks is the way to go. But anyway, that's it for today's video, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!